Hello future doctors welcome to the painism i am dr dipain and today we are going to discuss the tricky 3 mcq for your aims exams now aims contains a particular type of questions which are known as assertion and reasoning type of questions jahan pe there are two statements which are made one is the assertion statement another is the reason statement isme चार ऑप्शन ए बी सी डी आर गिवन एंड इसमें रिस्पॉन्स करने के लिए यू विल मार्क ऑप्शन ए इफ यू फील दैट एसर्शन जो स्टेटमेंट है दैट इज अ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट रीजन इज ऑल्सो अ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट एंड एक्सप्लेनेशन दैट इज द रीजन इज द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस एसर्शन दैट इज वेन ऑल एसर्शन रीजन एंड एक्सप्लेनेशन आर करेक्ट यू विल मार्क ऑप्शन ए वेन एवर assertion is correct reason is also correct statement but explanation that reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion you will mark option b whenever assertion statement is correct lekin reason ka statement hi wrong hai then you will mark option c whenever assertion as well as reason statement both are incorrect you will mark option d so assertion and reason may you have to mark a particular response depending on these three criterias so let us discuss certain mcqs first mcq jisme assertion statement mentions ki nucleus controls the metabolic activities of cytoplasm and the reason given for that is that nucleus synthesizes enzymes and sends them to cytoplasm to control the activities now let us first discuss whether the assertion statement is correct or not nucleus controls the metabolic activities of the cell definitely yes nucleus we call it as the controlling center of the cell to so, cytoplasm kya pure ke pure cell ko nucleus is going to control so definitely assertion statement is correct since assertion statement correct hai option a b ya c तीन में से एक हो सकता है ऑप्शन डी हैज बिन डेफिनेटली रूल्ड आउट नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड वेदर द रीजन स्टेटमेंट इज फर्स्ट करेक्ट और नॉट रीजन स्टेटमेंट मेंशंस दैट न्यूक्लियस सिंथेसाइजेस एंजाइम्स एंड सेंड्स देम टू साइटोप्लाज्म टू कंट्रोल द एक्टिविटीज नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दैट एंजाइम्स आर केमिकली प्रोटीन्स इन नेचर एंड प्रोटीन्स आर सिंथेसाइज्ड बाय राइबोसोम्स so in fact even ribosomes are going to synthesize the enzymes so nucleus is not the one which is going to synthesize the enzyme it is the ribosomes definitely the code for synthesis of a protein is present with the nucleus that is dna contains the code for protein synthesis as well as for synthesis of an enzyme but nucleus directly enzyme ka synthesis nahi karta it is through the rnas that is mrna rrna and trna wherein ribosome is the site jahan pe protein synthesis hoga and enzyme ka formation hoga so reason statement itself is incorrect that is why reason is not going to be the correct explanation for assertion as well so here c is going to be the correct option for this particular mcq moving to the next mcq which mentions that ribosomes are involved in protein synthesis and the reason given is they are membrane bound cell organelles now let us come to the assertion ribosomes are involved in protein synthesis it's a correct statement ribosomes is the main protein synthesizing factories now the reason given for that is they are membrane bound cell organelles then understand future doctors ribosomes are non membranous they are granular particles to so, unme there is no membrane present that is why reason is itself a incorrect statement yahan pe assertion is a correct statement but reason is totally incorrect hence again the option is going to be c now iska correct explanation ya reason kya hona chahiye tha when we are mentioning that ribosomes are involved in protein synthesis then the correct explanation has to be ribosomes pe the mrna binds and translation process occurs that is how ribosomes are involved in protein synthesis that is it provides binding site to mrna as well as it helps in the process of translation moving to the third mcq 
where assertion statement mentions that H plus pump of membranes essentially work for lysosomal vesicles. And the reason given for that is hydrolyting enzymes of lysosomes tend to work on acidic pH. So let us discuss first the assertion. Now H plus pump that means these are the proton pumps and proton pumps are essentially functioning for lysosomal vesicles. So this statement is definitely correct. Lysosome ke membrane pe there is presence of proton pump which utilizes the energy of the ATP and protons ko pump karega inside the lysosome. So this statement is correct. So assertion is a correct statement. Reason hydrolytic enzymes or hydrolyzing enzymes of lysosomes are tend to work on acidic pH. Yes, this statement is also correct. Ke acidic pH pe the enzymes of the lysosomes gets activated. Initially the enzymes are inactive but only at acidic pH they get activated. And since acidic pH pe they get activated, wo acidic pH generate karne ke liye proton pumps are present. So assertion statement is correct and the explanation is also correct ke proton pumps kyu zaruri hai, then explanation given is to activate the hydrolytic enzymes at the acidic pH. So here assertion statement is correct, reason is correct and reason is the correct explanation of that assertion. Hence all these three are tick mark, hence here we will mark the option A as the correct answer. So this is how you are going to solve the MCQs for AIMS exam based on assertion and reasoning. Stay tuned for my further videos. Thank you from Dipenism.